Well, hey there, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Now, on today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way to draw barbed wire. And I'll be showing you all the tricks that I've learned along the way. My name's Robbie Greer, and this is Fun Times Family Art. So, you ready to dive in? Well, come on then. start with today what we're going to do I'm just using my set square again and we're just going to do a couple of lines like this just lightly I'm using a mechanical 2B pencil but just use whatever you've got you don't need to use that I'll be using my brush for dusting away all the crumb I'll be using a my Tombow razor just for just taking out bits and pieces and I don't know, I might be using a couple other tools as well. But anyway, well, let's get started. Now, the reason I've done these two lines here with a ruler, and I'll give you an idea on how wide they are, six and a half centimetres. Now, that's just, you know, you make it seven, you can make it six. That's just how it ended up. And I came in about six centimetres from the edge of the page. Now, that has to be perfectly straight. I just wanted two straight lines to get us started because that there is going to be our post because today, we're going to be doing some barbed wire. All right, so how we're going to start this off, we're going to go like this, just, just to do an outline, like that, and then it's going to come back out, like that. All right, so that's just our guideline. So we just see how I did that. We just come around here, around the front, and around, around the back of the post, out, and out, and it ends up over here somewhere. Now, this doesn't have to be exact, this is all this is a guideline for you to follow along with. Now with barbed wire, there's two strands of wire. So let's just go along and do that first. Just look, we're just, uh, just a wavy sort of a... Like that. And remember this is old rustic barbed wire this is. Just going like that. And then the next one we're going to come in, I want to add just out a little bit. And we're going to go the opposite. So we go. Like that. Remember it's, it's old and rusty so it's not going to be perfect. We do not want it to be perfect. Like that. Like that. Now it's been there for many, many years. The next thing we do is we've got to put it in the barb. So to do the barb, we go like this. It's like a sort of like a, um, a fin on a fish, a dorsal fin. And then we go like this. One, two, three, and then we come down like that. Alright, so you got that. So that's like this. Sort of like a bit of a dorsal type fin there, which is a shape. And then this is the wire, so then we have three um, elliptical, elliptical <laughs> shapes, and then we go like that. And then what we do now is we just go like this, shade down, same here, and then like that. Of course, the wire is going to come through here like this. That's what we're trying to create there. So we go one there, and then we'll do another one here. Don't worry about these lines yet. This is just we're just putting down the, the line drawing. We'll do it here, look. Shark fin there. And we do one, two, three ellipses, and then we do another. Well, it could be a shark one or it could be a comma. Right, so we want another one over here. Just move your page around. One, two, three. Like that. And we'll do another one. Try and keep about the same distance. So I usually just use my fingers there. They'll be there. They'll be there. So about there. So another one here. One, 
two, three, and then we do an upside down shark fin, or we'll call them a comma, shall we? And then the same, that, 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 that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're just going to, with my little Tombow eraser, now if you haven't got a Tombow eraser, just get your little eraser that you have and just make a point on it, sharpen it up, probably a bit sharper than that one, and, and, and you can just go in there and just, we're going to take this little bit out here and there. See, that was, that's our line drawing. Now we're going to go in and do the underdrawing. So to do that, we'll just go here and we'll just go over that again. Shade the bottom and the top. And that sort of just gives the impression that there's light on there and then it's round. You know how and it's, the wires sort of, when it's turned around, it's sort of a little bit stretched. So you get that like that, just, just a little bit on the bottom, and then we do the tops, yeah. that's a bit big, but oh, it doesn't matter, we're just practicing, yeah. alright, now, the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to go and put the wire in properly, so we're just going to go, just sort of, we don't want it too straight, it's, it's sort of like, just sort of like a, well, staggered I guess you know in the sense that it's not a continuous straight line like that it's like that and that sort of just makes it look a little bit more old and rusty you know it's been stretched and what have you and then we'll come back and we'll do the other one Let's go over that see how I've sort of just left a little gap so I've made it two two little lines so there's a bit of light coming through there now what I mean by the little gap, I'll just show you, zoom it in a bit. So we've got our wire going like this, in our barbed wire, and I've made this one here a bit thicker, and using the backward and forward motion as opposed to, you know, just a steady motion like that. Alright, now, what I mean with the next, with the other wire, you see that? So it's it's like two wires, but it just, that'll give it a, the impression that it either mist on it or you know moisture. You just take your time. Yeah, I'm making it a bit more. Yeah, just want to say you can see that this is a solid line, but does it the other wire isn't? That sort of makes sense. It just gives the the impression. I mean, if you look, uh, can we see there? And the next one, we'll do the same thing. We're just going to go like that. And I turn the page around as I go. I find that's the easiest way for me. You just do it how you're comfortable. And just take your time. Okay. Now we'll go over there and do the same thing again. Just make it so it's not quite on the on that line. So there was a little gap. I'm going to zoom that in a bit. I'm going to bring it in a bit, just so you can see it a bit easier. I've just got to remember to keep it in shot. <laughs> I'm always forgetting about the camera and then we go out of focus. Because this way, happens when you zoom it in, the camera's trying to pick up what's closest. Okay, we can do the same here. I might as well go ahead and do the whole thing, I think. This line is not so important. But see, it's the next line that we do, which is, is the important line in the respect of it just gives it a little bit more realism. It looks, it looks sort of like the light is reflecting. All right, now come back here. Make sure we're in camera, and we're just gonna. This is where you want a sharp pen. That's why I quite like using uh, a mechanical pencil because it is a very fine point. This is a 0.7 lead, and I do have a smaller lead. I have 0.5 and a 0.2. Now, there you go. And just using the pointy side of a pencil. Yeah. 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 
and don't expect to, do, to get it perfect you know, the first time. Whatever you do, don't expect that. Okay, well there's our barbed wire. Okay, now I'm going to use my 2, 2B wood pencil and we're going to make this a post. So holding the pencil flat on its side, we've done posts before. Now we're just going to go over the wire, we're only going very lightly. Just, it's just a practice drawing, that's all it is. So we don't want that straight, we just, let's see you sort of do it when it's a part or a section of a piece. Just gotta go sideways a bit there to get that bit. Try and keep your strokes as long as possible. And remember, we've got to come out to the edge. It's a round post, so we've got to sort of match up the darkness of that line. Yeah, don't matter if we go over it, because we're only, we're only really going very, very lightly. And if we make a mistake, we just rub it out. Or if we're not happy with something, we just rub it out. Now, of course, we're going to go in here with our blending stump. And very lightly. Now, we don't go over the wire with the blending stump. That will sort of soften it up too much. And we want the barbed wire to sort of stand out quite a bit. You can go in there like that and just darken that up a bit. You can use a smaller one. That's where the tortillion would come in handy. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Like I said, it's just a practice drawing. Right now, we're going to get our little Tombow here. Actually, I might use my pencil eraser here. A little bit thicker. The crumb or whatever, the graphite that's stuck to it. And we're just going to come down here like this, look. Very lightly. And that's going to give us the impression of grain. The timber, you know, the, the grain and the timber. And then brush away the crumb. Go back in and we're going to blend that again. See, we're building up layers. We do the, the line drawing, put in the under drawing. Oh, I decided to blend over that, but not over the barbs. Because we're only going very softly. Now, also, we come down here. I'm just sort of following sort of how it is on the, on the, how, the texture that we've created by just going on the side like that and then taking a bit out and then blending it and it creates all these little sort of timber textures or to say post textures and going over the end I'm just following these lines where I've taken the, the, the graphite out Slightly. We want it a bit darker on the edge there, but we do anyway. So we want to make it as dark as what the outline is, and, and a little bit more, just just like a, a, a shade darker. No more. Yeah, there's these lines like that. I love it when you see that because that's that's how the, the timber goes, the grain of the timber. And where it's darker there, I'm just making that a bit darker as well. Just creating the texture. And we're just going up and down, that's all we're doing. You know, you can put as much detail as I always say. You can put as much into it as you want or as little as you want. But it, does, it does take time. It does, takes time to build up the layers. You might decide just to do a little bit, leave it and come back. I do that all the time. Now I'm going to blend that again. Just lightly. Just, all we're doing is just pushing that graphite around. Yeah, that's it, really. Well, I think one more thing to do, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put in a little staple. Go like that, with a little dot there. That's where it's going to go. And in there. Of course, if this was the hardwood, the, the bark, the iron bark wood, we're going to drill holes through it, well, we wouldn't be able to put a staple in there. 
it would have just got wrapped around and tied off. And we're not going to worry about doing that either, tying it off. Just wanted to get the idea on how to draw barbed wire and the post is just a prop, just to have, have it against something, that was all. Alright, now we're going to zoom out a bit so we can see the whole picture. There you go, here's our little practice drawing over here. How to do the barbs. I, I, I call that little shark fins, but you know, I suppose that, you, know, you can say it's a comma, a teardrop type, you know, a pointy teardrop. Let's go in there and put a little bit more, a bit more detail. But you know, that's, that's what you need to do. Rub a little bit out here. And there you go. How easy was that? Well, thanks for watching to the end, and I hope you learnt something from today's tutorial. It's just a simple, simple drawing. I try to make things as simple as I can, just using basics. And I really enjoy sharing these videos with you. I'm here to try and help you as much as I can on your artistic journey. Now, I'd like to give a big shout out to a channel that I follow. And that's Always Manifesting. Her name's Ash, by the way, and she's been really helpful to me over this past year or so that I've been on YouTube. Just giving me advice now and then on, on what she feels, and, you know, and I value her, her input. Now you'll find on her channel she's got relaxation music, focused breathing meditations, sleep music, positive healing affirmations, solfagio frequencies. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> And of course, binaural beats. Her music will help you sleep better, study better, and just generally help you feel a lot more relaxed. Especially in these days, I find myself listening to always manifesting quite often because I, I really I find it hard to sleep at night. I don't have trouble getting to sleep, but staying asleep, that's the problem with me. I, my brain's always going flat out all the time. And I find always manifesting to be a really, really helpful channel. Great channel to listen to. And as usual, I'll leave a link in the description below. So check her out. I'm sure if you're into that sort of thing, and, and let's face it, most of us are nowadays, go and check her out. I know you will enjoy it. Well, that'll do us for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.